This is a gimbal and it's used to stabilize the footage from a GoPro camera and it basically allows you to dampen out pitch and roll and yaw to keep the horizon level uh, on the camera as you move around. But one of the things it doesn't seem to be able to, to cope with is the little bounce you have on your step. As you walk, there's a little bit of vertical translation and that translation shows through in the footage. So let's see if we can come up with something that will help to attenuate that vertical translation. What we're gonna do is make basically a fancy handle that we can mount the gimbal to and it incorporates a spring mass system. Ideally we can tune the natural frequency of that spring mass system so that we are in the attenuation zone of the vibration response at those frequencies that are common when we're walking. Relatively simple, it's just a handle, a couple of arms, and there'll be a spring eventually that gets incorporated into it. All right, let's mock it up here. You can see the arms here, and that's the shape. So here's the spring. It's a parallelogram so that it can distort, stretch the spring. It's a simple spring mass system. So here's walking up that path now with the gimbal. Let's put them side by side. On the right, you can still see the bounce. So ideally, we're gonna tune the spring mass system so that it attenuates vibration at those frequencies where we're walking. We're gonna get much less vertical movement at the camera than we put in. Now spring mass systems kinda of have three zones that they operate in. The one-to-one -one zone, this is at frequencies lower than the natural frequency of the system. So what you put in is what you get out. You're not making it better, but you're not making it worse either. The amplification zone, as you approach the natural frequency, the system likes to vibrate at that frequency. So if you force it to vibrate there, you get this tremendous over response. This is like a tuning fork or a bell. When you strike it, that's the frequency it likes to ring at. As you increase the frequency further, you transition into what's known as the attenuation zone. And in this zone, you get much less of a response back than you put in. So this is the zone that we want to operate in. So that's the beauty of the vibration system. You can force the system to vibrate your test item at any frequency and look at the response. Now we've used this system in a production now. And the production involves some of our dogs and basically tracking shots alongside the dog. This big old fat man, me, who was running along beside with the, with the rig. And here it is in slow motion. gal sitting there on the bench. She's actually filming this with her phone and she shared this with us. So this is what it actually looks like in real time. To me, it worked fairly well. And if you'd like to see this production, there's a link to it in the description.